Where is my mind? Hey guys, so obviously the last few weeks has been an absolute shit show and our industry has been massively impacted and it will be impacted in the future uh, and it's overwhelming us all. And Imro reached out to me to figure out if there's a way that we can provide some supports for their members in terms of their headspace over the next couple of weeks and months. And I was thinking about it over the last few hours and musicians provide so much comfort and solace to other people uh, with their music, with their art. A lot of people get so much out of it. Right now we're seeing musicians up and down the country providing free live streaming shows just to make people's experience a little bit easier. That just shows you the type of mindset that musicians have. We're always the first to support things. We're always the first to do charity gigs. We're always the first to put our hands up and see what we can do. But right now, uh, we also need to take care of ourselves uh, and our peers and our industry. And uh, I really, really hope that over the next few months that we, we stay together on it and we provide supports for each other um, because we're going to need it. But one of the things that uh, Imro asked me to do is over the last number of years, I, I've been studying and, and working in the area of, I suppose, uh, taking care of the mind and how we can better take care of the mind in all sorts of different situations. And this is a particularly uh, difficult one. And I just wanted to kind of kind of reach out to the members to figure out if there's a way that I can help and see if there's anyone else I can get in to help us to see if we can manage to keep our heads and support each other. But uh, one of the things that uh, was suggested <clears throat> with Eleanor in Imro was if I could uh, do a kind of a mindfulness course. A lot of you hear the word mindfulness, it gets bandied around a lot. Uh, but there is much more to it and uh, the best way I suppose for me to do that is to kind of point you towards the Where's My Mind podcast. Now the podcast is a six-part series but what I did with the six-part series is I attached a mindfulness program to it. So it's a six-week kind of mindfulness-based stress reduction program, evidence-based program that can be hugely beneficial for people. Um, some of you may have done this before, or maybe you have apps and Headspace and stuff like this but what we're trying to do is to stop the spiraling giving your head that much time to think, especially creative brains. Creative brains love to think, that's what they're brilliant at. But sometimes we can think too much and it can create overwhelm and it can create uh, stress, anxiety and all sorts of other things. Now, um, I've always been interested in this area, but I, I do think maybe if you commit to doing the six weeks uh, attached to the podcast, they're absolutely free. Um, I know they can they can help and maybe if you have any questions on it you can send them into Imro and get them to me and I can help you uh, on that but this is just a small way and a small place to start and so we'll put the links for the podcast below the video and maybe start this evening uh, I think the first week is uh, body scan meditations and if all it is is 15 minutes out of your day where you're trying to get the mind to settle a little bit and to kind of uh, be a bit more present that might be helpful um, and it will hopefully be helpful and there's other things we're going to look at that might provide support for you as well but right now uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking of all our peers in the industry I'm thinking of everyone who works for the industry around the industry um, you know as I said we, we always are the first to help other people uh, but right now I think we have to figure out how can we take care of ourselves and how we can support each other so maybe download the podcast <clears throat> have a listen, find your time and I'll maybe put some other bits and pieces up that you can do to, to better help you deal with the stress and the overwhelm of all this. Now, from an economic point of view, um, that's another story that we're going to have to address when this is, crisis is over. Um, but if anything I've learned from the music industry in the last few years is it's incredibly good at reinventing itself and moving again. Um, and I'll, any of those who remember when the music industry was kind of massively affected by the internet and we all, we all believed that the industry was going to crumble and fall and change. Um, it adapted. So that's what we're going to have to do here. And it's going to take a, a, probably a bit of time. But I, I do have faith that there will be supports there and I think Imro will support in every way they can as well. So take care of yourselves. Where is my mind?